Hello everyone, thank you for watching another episode. Today we're wrapping up the installation here in my hallway. And very quickly, I just need to install uh, some stair nosing. So there are some videos out there already showing different techniques. Sometimes it's a little hard to find, so I figured I'll throw a quick upload here uh, just showing the way that I'm doing this. But long story short, if uh, you're not sure on how to install, or you're looking at Kelly bamboo or just bamboo hardwood flooring, we do have an installation video uh, just showing how you can quickly install one of these floorings. It's pretty darn quick. It's not difficult by any means. But once you get to this point, uh, you ultimately have two options. Now option one, and we'll go over the measurements and so forth in a second. Now option one is you can purchase stair nosing that will have a small lip. In other words, the stair nose will fit over the end of your flooring. I didn't want that. I wanted a flush mount. Now in this case, Cali Bamboo, the manufacturer of this flooring, does make uh, some stair nosing, but the measurements did not line up in my case. So if you if you have that problem, what I found to be the best bet is Amazon. Amazon.com, I made my measurements. In other words, I measured the lip that I need uh, from this distance, which essentially is this. So this is the part of the nosing that slips, and once it hits this backer is where it's striking this plywood here. So I made all my measurements and I wanted a flush mount and Amazon had some very attractive pricing if you're a Prime member you get it within two days and as you can see uh, it was just a very bare type of wood I forget uh, what kind of wood it was so I just painted it and obviously I put some polyurethane on top which don't make that mistake as you can see I have a little bit too much of a gloss so I'll go with a flat type of uh, protection over it so uh, you know learn from my mistake there but that being said if you're at this step Ultimately, the first thing you want to do is, of course, just take your measurement. And in this case, we need roughly 34 and 3 quarters of an inch. So let's go ahead outside. We'll cut the wood, and then we'll go ahead and install the nosing. So now we're ready to nail down the stair nosing to the subfloor. So what I have here is a 5 ths of an inch drill bit. We'll make some pilot holes. The whole point behind that is because if you just start driving down nails, you can splinter or crack the wood. So you don't want to do that. So 5 ths of an inch. And then I'm going to use a 6D finish nail and just nail it in. Now in terms of the spacing, in my case, I'll just use the tape measure to go an inch and a half back, maybe even two inches back from the front of the nosing, space it out evenly among the stair nosing, and uh, then we can just finish up with the molding and call it a day. So this is the spacing where I want the stair nosing. In other words, keep an eye on your expansion gaps. And get my drill here. And then again, your 6D finishing nail. This happens to be two inches. I think it's a little too long to be honest, but that's all I have here right now. Okay, and this is just a nail setter. Place it over the end. One trick I saw, I think it was on uh, this old house a number of years ago, what you can do is take the nail setter, flip it around, and then you can go ahead and drive it in. Okay. And of course, we'll use some putty. We'll use some putty just to clean that up. So I'll just do a couple of more nails here and uh, we'll be in good shape. And then of course your last step is just, in this case I have colonial maple. 
but this is just wood putty. And the nice thing about this is once you cover up your nail holes, this will harden to a sandable surface. So in other words, if you want to, which I probably will do, get some steel wool and sand this down. So I don't have to worry about scorching this off. That's actually way too much, but just to show you, if you overdo it, if you overdo this, You, you can just use a uh, damp cloth and that will clean it up. This color actually isn't too good. This color is better for uh, for the Kelly Bamboo. But that's really about it. So I'm just going to finish cleaning this up. I'll give it a little uh, light sanding just to dull the color a little bit. And I hope this helps uh, you know anyone out there looking to install a stair nosing.